Okay, we are on and we're continuing with the Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit of Happiness. And this will be the title of Conception, Part 3 in our series. Beginning where we left off, we will begin with Genesis 3.16. And the conception is in the midst of sorrow. Part of that sorrow is the nature of sin, Psalm 51.5, of the spaceman time. This sin reaps its tragedy from the first conception, Genesis 4.1, resulting in murder, Genesis 4.8, and follows right down to today where God elects some mothers to be barren, Psalm 1.13, verse 9. Some 2,000 years after Cain killed Abel, God intervenes in the history of man's conceptions and calls out Abraham to be a, a separated seed. By strengthening Sarah in her old age, he is able to, she is able to conceive seed by Abraham and bring in the beginning of the promises Isaac. See Hebrews 11.11. 11. Certainly at the age of 100, this would not be recommended today. Isaac marries Rebekah and conceives twins, Jacob and Esau, Genesis 25, verses 21 to 26, and also Romans 9, 10. Jacob is the father of 12 sons who become the nation of Israel. Out of the tribes of the Hebrew nation, God's angels appear to Manoah, and in advance tells her she will conceive a son who is Samson, Judges 13, verse 3. In answer to prayer, God allows Hannah to conceive Samuel the prophet, verse Samuel 1, verses 19 to 21, and chapter 2, verses 20 to 21. Through interracial marriage, God allows Ruth to conceive by Boaz, Roman, Ro, <laughs> Romans, Ruth 4:13. This is the lineage of David the king from Pharaoh's and thereafter, Ruth 4, 18 to 22. The lineage of David's conception can be traced to Mary, the mother of Jesus, who was engaged to Joseph, Matthew 1, 16 to 19. In accord with the prophecy of Isaiah, the Virgin Mary was given conception in the womb, Luke 1, 27 to 31, which was the blessed fruit, Luke 1, 42, and was Emmanuel, God with us, Isaiah 7, 14. If you knew in advance that Cain was to be a murderer, would you elect abortion or contraception? If you knew that the labor was to be hard with twins, and that the two would be at odds, would you prefer a condom? If you were a virgin with an unexplained pregnancy, would you elect civil marriage or death by stoning Matthew 1 1 to 19 so we move to the loins which is a seed basket after Adam got booted from the garden God promised that Adam's seed would be at enmity with the serpent and its seed indicating that the serpent has a seed just like mankind has a seed the final victory would come from a head-to-heel confrontation, Genesis 3.15. As the world digressed to preserve pure seed, God elected Abraham and called him to be separation, Genesis 12, verses 1 and following. Abraham's seed was granted lend lease to Canaan land, and it promised to multiply as the dust, Genesis 13. Verses 14 and 16. Abraham's seed is therefore a covenant seed. Genesis 15, 18. Abraham got ahead of God and conceived seed but with Hagar. Although Ishmael was not a covenant seed, he was Abraham's and God blessed him. Genesis 16, 10. The covenant seed would be through Sarah. Hebrews 11, 11. 
and will carry over into his seed thereafter. Genesis 17, 7 and 8. The main child, the man child, seed covenant, is sealed with the physical sign of circumcision. Genesis 17, 9 and 10. An operation that has to do with the male reproductive organs. The seed covenant is thus passed to Isaac and the seed to follow. Genesis 17, verse 19. Sometime after these events, God tests Abraham's faith in requiring the sacrifice of his only begotten seed. Hebrews 11, 17 and 18. The same way God gave his only begotten son, John 3, 16. Remember, the seed covenant was not given to seeds, plural, but to a single seed beginning with Isaac and ultimately ending in one to thy seed, which is Christ, Galatians 3.16. This was a promise that even the law could not overthrow, but would fu was fulfilled in God's seed, the Holy Child, Jesus, Galatians 3.19 and Acts 4.30. Abraham was promised through a seed covenant that he would inherit the world by faith and through him, like faith, the promise is extended to that beyond the law to us. Romans 4, verses 13 and 16. Lot, Abraham's nephew, fails to segregate and ends up preserving his own seed through incest. Genesis 19, 32-34. Additionally, in order that the seed covenant is by faith, Hagar and Ishmael are separated from Abraham, Genesis 21, 12. God says that just because you can claim kin to Abraham does not make you an heir, for the promise is to Isaac and his seed after him. Only children of the promise are counted for the seed, Romans 9, 7-9. Thus through Isaac, the seed is multiplied, Genesis 2, 17 and 18, as the stars of heaven, Genesis 26, 3 and 4. The international blessing is passed down through Rebekah, with her seed being made millions and overcoming their enemies, Genesis 24, 60. Isaac has passed the seed covenant to Jacob and his seed, Genesis 28, 4. Jacob comes to Bethel and encounters with the God of Abraham receives one-on-one -on -one a recertification of the seed covenant and the seed blessing that God gave Abraham, Genesis 28, 13, and 14. Later, God amplifies the seed covenant to nations and kings coming out of his loins, Genesis 35, 11, and 12. God repeatedly reiterates the seed covenant of land lease and blessing and multiplicity of seed, Genesis 48.4, and of a continual progenity of seed through Ephraim, Genesis 48.19. God, in his eternal wisdom, to ensure that the seed line maintains a certain air of cleanliness, has declared le legislatively that sperm seed is, when out of place, unclean. Leviticus 15, 16 through 18. God has also legislated that the seed of man is not to be sacrificed in the fires of idolatry. Leviticus 18, 21. Through the years that follow Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the children of Israel did sacrifice their children to idols. Isaiah predicts loss of childhood and widowhood because of sorcery and enchantment. Isaiah 47, 9. Today, children are sacrificed on the altar of my rights. Under Ezra and Nehemiah, we see the sperm seed, even the priests, mingled with the people that possessed the least land lease, land of Canaan. Ezra 9, 2, Nehemiah 7, 61. Nehemiah raises God's seed covenant and declares interracial marriage is a violation of the Arabic covenant. Nehemiah 9, verses 2 and 8. Under Nehemiah, some of the men could not prove their Levitical seed line and were disallowed the right of priesthood. During the time of Ezekiel, the priesthood preserved seed through the Levite Zadok. Ezekiel 43, 19. From Ezekiel's prophecy, we understand the seed of Jacob would go to Egypt. 
Ezekiel 20 verse 5. But Jeremiah kills off the seed of Kaniah and dethrones the lineage of David, even though God had promised him a multitude of seed. Jeremiah 22, 29 and 30, and Psalm 89, 3, 4, and 26 and 36. Looking toward the future in advance through the eyes of the psalmist, we see a minor blessing on the seed of those who fear the Lord. Psalm 112, verses 1 and 2. There is a time when the man-child seeds of God's servant shall be established. Psalm 102, 28. Rather than be overthrown as the seed in the wilderness, Psalm 106, 27, the seeds of God's servant shall inherit the possession of the land lease, seed covenant, Psalm 69, 36. And a whole generation of God's seed shall serve him, Psalm 22, 30. The Lord Jesus Christ shall see that seed and make it known among the Gentiles. Isaiah 53:10 and 61:9. So what? Does that matter today? Of what concern is that to me if Levi was in the loin seed basket of his great grandfather Abraham? Hebrews 7:5. Four generations of head of live birth. First off, Jesus told the Jews that they that he knew. They were Abraham's seed, but they were also akin to the devil. John 8, 37. Through his apostle Peter, God tells us we need, we have a need for another birth different from the one we've already had. It must be a birth born of the sperm seed of God's holy word, 1 Peter 1, 23. Jesus also told this to Nicodemus, John 3, 3 to 6. Paul, the out-of-season apostle, boasts of his own heritage and makes it a public declaration. He is a descendant of Abraham's seed, a Hebrew, an Israelite of the tribe of Benjamin. Romans 11, 1, 2 Corinthians 11, 22. Of the Jews, Paul claims God left a remnant of the seed, Romans 9, 29, and that every seed has its own body, 1 Corinthians 15:38. If we by faith claim Christ as our own, then we too are the seed of Abraham, at least spiritually. Galatians 3, 29. If Mary had elected freedom of choice for abortion, when would our Savior Jesus have died on the cross? How would you like to be still in your sin? Jesus came to seek and to save that which was lost. Matthew 18, 11. What if he hadn't been born, but aborted? Next, life in the womb. Keep listening.